Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. Each Sunday morning, we have the message notes that you can fill in the blanks, uh, you can write in the margins, whatever is helpful for you. It's all meant to be a way of uh, sort of elongating, prolonging the experience of the of the message and the scripture and uh, make worship a little more meaningful than just a Sunday morning experience. We had two scriptures. I'd like to read one of them uh, that uh, were the basis of our service this past week. I'd like to read the, t- the 130th Psalm. Uh, this is called a song of, of ascents. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his word, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. May God add a blessing to the reading and hearing of that holy word. During the season of Advent, we will be talking a great deal about embodying the themes of Advent, hope, peace, joy, and love. To embody means to to give life to, to personify an idea or concept by incorporating that idea uh, into your daily living. So building on your reflections from yesterday in terms of whether or not you're a hopeful person, uh, how you are a hopeful first person, and um, what do you hope for uh, in terms of this season of Advent, I'd like to ask you, uh, how, does, how do your hopes shape your, your life? How do you wait for the Lord? Not just as something as, uh, you know, occupying space, but think about the words that come to us uh, from the scriptures. Uh, the fifth verse is, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch the morning, more than those who watch the morning. To wait with all your soul, your whole being, it says in the uh, contemporary English Bible, uh, to, to wait for the Lord with all your being. What does that what does that mean to you? That you are waiting uh, uh, for the the Lord. I think of the the uh, hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem, uh, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. So friends, how are your hopes met by your faith? in Christ Jesus, by your faith in our Creator God. The psalm tells us that with with God there is forgiveness, so that His name might be revered, and that with God there is power of redemption. So God will redeem creation. God will redeem us with forgiveness and grace and love. So I want you to, to think about what it means to, uh, to embody hopefulness and how having hope shapes your life on a, on a daily basis. Think about it, write down some ideas, share those ideas with someone else and say, hey, do you experience me as a hopeful person? Ask those who are closest to you, who know you best and love you most. Ask them if they, ask them if they consider you a hopeful person person. And then make sure you know what they're talking about. Make sure that they answer you. Why? Why why do they think you're hopeful? I think it would be a, a meaningful exchange, a great conversation to have, especially during this season of Advent. Let's pray. Well, gracious God, we do thank you. We thank you for the ability to to ponder a deeper understanding of what it means to wait for you. That that we wait with our whole being, 
our soul waits for you. And we place our hope in you, O oh God. We ask that you bless us uh, throughout this week, throughout the season of Advent, that we will be in the end blessed by Christ's presence and living each day more fully for your purposes on earth as it is in heaven. For it's in the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Hey, friends, have a great Tuesday, and God bless you.